kicking off the week with our first guest, who is putting a Latin twist on the classic egg roll. We welcome back to the show food blogger Belki is with us today. Hey, Belki, happy Monday. Hey, happy Monday. Hi, Kara. How are you doing today? Oh, Ready? I'm good. It is beautiful here in the Northwest. <laughs> Cannot complain on these nice fall days. Yes, well, it's beautiful here. I'm in Arizona, so it's like 96. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> so wow. That, that's pretty know, warm for fall. Yeah, I'm wearing a sweater just for you guys. Really, <laughs> Thank you. It's like tank top weather still. <laughs> I got excited to pull out like my Uggs and the boots the other day. You guys don't get to do that often mm -hmm. enough in Arizona. I, I don't think we do actually. Like the high usually would be like in the, well, the low is at night, but then the high is in the 70s. And then I put on the boots. I'm from New York, so I love my Uggs, but here I just feel like I look crazy. So <laughs> here I am, but I, I have a really cool recipe for you today. And um, I wanted to tell you a little bit of the backstory. This is super simple, but I made a pizza. So if you go to my website, you'll find it. It's called Latin Pizza Party. And it was one of my friends who said, can you make this pizza of mine that I've been making for years? And I'm like, okay. And it had chorizo in it, pork chorizo that's spicy. So I was like, okay, I'll make it. And then I had all this leftover pork chorizo and I'm like what do I do with it and then I pondered and pondered and of course you know me I like to fry everything <laughs> and then I found I had some egg rolls in the fridge and I had some cotija co cheese and I'm like I'm just gonna make some spicy mini chorizo egg rolls that'd be fun and then that's how it started and then yeah it's really really good like for let's say football games and it's so quick to prepare that it'll be just perfect. And you're gonna start with a pork chorizo. Now I love this one because it has paprika, it has a bunch of spices that will, but it, it gives you heat. It's not like my, my Dominican food where there's no heat. There's a lot of flavor because of the spices. This will be hot, okay. nice and hot. So it's almost like um, the texture of ground beef, right? Right. So then you just gotta go to town on it. You're just gonna go boom, boom, boom. And then it's gonna have a ton of oil and it depends on the package too. Some have less oil than others. And if you do have too much oil, set it aside. And guess what, Kara? What would you do with that extra oil? Oh, you use it later on in like an omelet or something. Oh my God, you and I are just like on the same wavelength. That is exactly <laughs> what I was gonna say. So you put it in an omelet or just drizzle it over eggs, anything. So you can just keep that oil and then you're gonna end up with this and it takes a lot of manual labor. You're gonna be going at it and going at it. And when it's done, you're gonna go ahead and take some egg roll wrappers, right? So the egg roll wrappers, you're going to lay down on a cutting board kind of like this. And you're gonna also use cotija cheese. Now this cheese, depending, like this one broke apart a little bit on me, but it doesn't really matter. You're gonna slice it into little pieces. And then we're going to take the chorizo and we're gonna lay it down. Of course you have to let it cool down. Otherwise you're gonna burn yourself. And then we're gonna come over to the cheese and we're gonna lay the cheese over top right here like this. And then remember, I like water, Kara, yeah. instead well, of egg wash. It, right? So here's a question for <laughs> yes. you, Belki. If you didn't buy yeah. that already seasoned, what kind of seasoning would you put on the meat? I would put, again, paprika. I would put a little bit of oregano. I would put a little bit of adobo. I would put some garlic, some onion powder. So those are the ones I would go to if I didn't have something that already has the paprika. And of course, a little bit of hot sauce. And then you just tailor it to the amount of hot sauce that you like. Okay. So that's what I would do. Um, but because I found this one that has everything in it then, and you can kind of tell because it's reddish. Mm -hmm. There's like a reddish color to it. Right. So you'll know when you see that, that it's kind of, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be spicy. And then you'll see obviously the ingredients in the back. So then we have this beautiful, little egg roll, it right? Is. Perfect, and right? You seal and it then pretty well gonna... too. I'm so, I mean, <laughs> otherwise does it fall apart if you really don't wrap it well? Not necessarily, like in my case, like I've had it where I've, I put little holes in it sometimes because I remember when I did the uh, Cuban egg roll ones for you, like my nails kind of poked it and it still didn't leave the actual egg roll when I was frying it. So. I would say, it, unless it's like a huge hole, I wouldn't worry about it, but I have some prepared already. And then you're gonna have the oil because you have to let this cool down. I have the oil ready on like a medium hot and it's gonna take a little longer 
to fry them thoroughly because it's going to be colder inside. It's not going to be like where you're putting it hot in there. It's just cool. So you need to let it really heat up and then the cheese will get a little more melted. And then when you, you know, when you bite into it, it's going to be like, ah, awesome perfection. And then remember how we were talking about like, does it come apart when it's in there? It really doesn't. Like right now, if you come and see, it's, it's just getting some nice color and nothing happened to it. It stayed. And then an example is I have a little hole in this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh -huh. There's a little hole in that one. My nail did that. And then I'm just going to put it there in the middle and, and pray <laughs> that it doesn't go <laughs> apart. But I promise you, it's not going to. And what I really like about it is right before you fry it, that's the perfect time to put it in the container with parchment paper in between each one of them or each layer of them and freeze them. And then you can have them whenever you want. You just have to take it out of the refrigerator, leave them out for at least an hour, and then that's it. You just fry them and then you have fresh egg rolls. Yes. Oh, I love it. So you can and that, do that. You can freeze them unfried. You could probably mm -hmm. freeze them fried as well. Yes, you can. Yeah, exactly. So it's really simple. It's not that hard. And um, I, I had the heat a little too high. So I, I came a little prepared with one that I already did before for you. And you see the one that had the hole? Yeah. Nothing happened to it, you see? Oh no, it looks great. The, yeah, the, the chorizo just stayed like right there and nothing happened. So that's like, you don't have to worry about it. It's gonna turn out okay no matter what, basically. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut in the middle the one that i already made for you and it'll be super super crunchy too there you go and this is not as crunchy because it's been sitting for a little bit but you'll see there's like a little bit of the cheese you can add more cheese if you want or less cheese or no cheese or a different kind of cheese it really depends on what you like but i like cotija cheese you can even do mozzarella cheese and then this pork chorizo i also love for queso fundidos which is that nice cheese dip that you just oh, go in yes. and you go with your chips. And so that I also have a recipe that that's the base of the recipe and it is to die for as well. So that's also on the blog and who knows, maybe I can make it one day for you guys. No, on I camera love it. It's, yeah, it's like a seven minute recipe, which is, it, it gets intense, but this kind of pork chorizo can go into so, so many different recipes and um, I'm going to try not to burn myself because I do want to try one of these. Yes, you the need to enjoy ones. Balki. Oh my goodness. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, I love you delicious. guys. Thank you so much for having me like you always do. I appreciate you guys so much. Well, we appreciate <laughs> you so much. I know that you're providing the recipe to everyone. So we want to let you know that that's going to be on our website at kacu.com plus a link to her blog and all those other recipes she talked about. But don't go away. More of Afternoon Live when we come back.